Robbie Irvin here, Russ Monkey Garage. We got a Volvo in, check engine light. Anyway, it's one of these ones. I don't know exactly what year it is. Anyway, it's got a um, EGR valve number one. I've looked everywhere on that internet in the Mitchell and everything, and they don't show me this one. Some poor guy from Russia, he's got a video, but he's not speaking English, and I don't speak Russian, so <laughs> it kind of sucks. Anyway, I'm going to keep the update where I'm at. Now, cheat I'm going after is I'm going to unplug the EGRs with the scan tool on, tell me which one turns off and which one turns on. So the harness, there they are, there. there's two of them here. there now the best I can figure is the one that's a little on the tilt that's supposed to be number one and it looks new the other one back there is a little older anyway the harness goes up and around behind the fan hub and the belt and it goes in behind the tensioner which I just took off and the alternator and the AC compressor and it plugs in down there so we got to pull all the EC compressor and that off and uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. I got the tensioner off, wasn't too bad. All right, probably were to oh. well, What the fuck's wrong with you? Now, well, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. But right here. One on the top. See, the light so sucks, and you can't fucking. The shadows just fuck everything right up. Oh, fuck the camera guys do that. Anyway, I took the alternator out, and it said you had to take the AC compressor and the bracket off, but you can get the pigtail through then. Now, down in there, there's an oily square box. See that plastic thing? Now, in the front, there's a plug, and in the bottom, there's a plug. Man, I'll show you what it looks like because I got the new valve here. And it looks like that and it goes on a 90 degree thing. Now, we still can't figure out which one is number one. But now I found the plugs, so I'm going to disconnect the plugs and see which one trips the code. All right, rub your it out. All right, this is him here. And I used my uh, little hose pliers to cut that on it. They were good for grabbing onto that. But anyway, uh, disconnect him, so I'm going to go get the scan tool, and we're going to scan it and see what it does. All right, Robbie Rivet out. Robbie Rivet here, Rust Monkey Garage. Uh, yeah, we disconnected, uh, well, I disconnected that one, and cleared the code. So a code, another code come up after the one I printed. I cleared them, turned it back on, read the code again. It says EGR position one. Now what it is, I'm going to try and plug it back in, see if the code will go away. Uh, hold please. Robbie Rivet here, Ross Monkey Garage. All right, this is EGR number one. She's the front one, and it's on a little bit of a tilt. Anyway, uh, my previous video, I showed you how I diagnosed it. And well, they came up cold, and that's how I checked to find what position it is, because there's two of them, they're identical part. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's quite the job, I gotta admit that. Uh, it's the first one I've ever had to do, and I don't know, it's uh, trial by fire, I suppose. All right, probably rub it out.